One of the first symptoms noted with this COVID-19 pandemic was anosmia or lack or change of sense of smell and taste. Like many other type of rhinoviruses, coronaviruses, upper respiratory viruses, change in sense of smell is, is common. But with COVID-19, it's very common, very frequent. So because of the recognition of the uh, relationship between loss of sense of smell and COVID-19, um, here at Washington University, we've been asking patients about their sense of smell as part of this battery of questions, screening questions for COVID-19. And uh, even recently, the CDC added the same, loss of smell, loss of taste as one of their screening questions. So for those patients who have persistent anosmia, that means they continue to have problems with sense of smell at three months out from their COVID infection, we would like to enroll them in a clinical study to see if we can help bring back that sense of smell. And what we were uh, planning to do is to uh, address the swelling of the nose that we think causes the loss of smell by using steroid irrigation, putting in steroid medicine into a, a saltwater rinse in the nose. We would also like to see how something called olfactory training or the actual smelling of different smells helps to recover the sense of smell. There's a whole uh, line of thinking that um, doing these smell exercises helps to retrain the brain. It's called neuroplasticity. It helps the brain to retrain those pathways that help us to recognize the different smells.